So you guys have an all-star cast set up. I mean, one of the three Latinos to be on SNL. You have you just came out of Kimmy Schmidt just recently. I mean, you've done Mindy Project, all these amazing things. How did you gather all these people? Are you guys all just friends, or you had to audition for it and come together? Um, no, I mean, when I when I was creating the show, um, I, I mean, I wrote the characters sort of not with anyone specific in mind. And I, I know uh, Tina Fey, who's a producer on the show. Um, she su she suggested Andrea, and I was like, oh, Andrea Martin is perfect for the mom, and she had been on 30 Rock before, but I really I didn't, like, people came in to audition, I really didn't know, I knew Horatio a little bit, like, we had done improv together, uh, like, once or twice, maybe, and I knew him, obviously, from SNL, and I knew of Adam from Kimmy, um, and so, uh, you know, when they came in, it, it was all sort of like, oh, that's it, it's, it, you know, there wasn't any hemming and hawing to it, but, um, no, we weren't just, like, a gang of friends, Right, right. We created the show right. together. Yeah, I, was I gonna say that's Tina. pretty impressive. I obviously worked with Tina and Robert at SNL. So they knew him. So okay. yeah, so yeah, it's a real cool vibe uh, of like I don't want, you know I don't want to say you know alternative comedy, but there is a really good you know pedigree with with those guys involved and with Miss Wakefield and and uh, yeah, it's fun. Very nice. Yeah, because I've always noticed in a lot of these comedies, you do see it, it's the same comedians kind of coming through. It's also like you know people can be funny, you know, rather than just casting like, you know, so, some like hot man who is on Chicago Fire. It's like when Adam came in, I was like, oh, this is the first time like th this scene like actually feels really funny, you know, because he, he, well, you just like were the character and he's naturally funny as a person. You want to get funny people for performance. It was, I was so nervous no way. For, for this audition. Really? Yeah, because yeah, I thought I mean it's a really funny script, obviously, but um, but you go in sometimes when you want a job so much, it makes you kind of more paranoid and more sort of sweaty under the arms and more more gassy. More gassy. Yeah, I was quite gassy in the room. Sure. Right. Oh, I remember. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm quite gassy now, actually. So I'm quite nervous. Um, but yeah, it seemed like a miracle to get the job. Just couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. Well, and here you are doing the press for it now. And I mean, we see a lot of like cultural references in comedy. Are we going to see anything recent to the elections going on in news coverage on the show? You know, the, sh the show takes place in a cable newsroom, so you'd think you would, but um, we actually shot the entire show before the election. So we were in editing uh, once we knew the result. And um, so, no, we, it, 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 there's a reason like Aaron Sorkin did, uh, did the newsroom um, on old news, like in order to do really like a the moment kind of weekend update joke she would have to like predict the future so like we do do observational comedy about the news and current events but um no not like uh, specific about trump or anything well i like that you know we did get the newsroom with aaron sorkin and now we're getting in the complete opposite yeah. satire this is different uh -huh. instead of being very solo now i get to laugh about it so yeah. i love it well thank you guys so much it was great so talking much. to you yeah. of course